Well, let's stay in central London now, where we're joined by the UKIP MP, Douglas Carswell. Always good to see you, Mr. Carswell. Well, this is, this is, a, big, this is a big day. Uh, it's wonderful, you... isn't it? <laughs> well, it's always wonderful to see the, the country engaged in something which is important. Uh, can I ask one specific question about the campaign to leave, or the campaigns to leave? Even people who feel passionately, as you do, that we should get out of the EU, say, privately at least, it's a shambles. Do you agree with some of that? I, I don't at all. I, on the contrary, I think we're, we're getting our act together. I'm recently delivering leaflets in different parts of, of Essex. We put out uh, a vast number of literature. But look, um, we're, we're, we're mobilising. Uh, we need help. Any of your viewers who, who want to help, please log, into the, uh, 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 log in your details on the uh, Vote Leave uh, Take Control website and we... we we need your help, but, but, but um, you know, it, we can do this. But do, does it help your campaign to see George Galloway uh, calling on his comrade Nigel Farage in this campaign? Do you, do you think that works for you? Look, I, I've signed up to um, Vote Leave, and I think uh, there's a competitive process to get designation. Um, I'm pretty clear in my mind um, as to which of the campaigns is likely to get designation. We need a, an upbeat, optimistic, very positive uh, campaign to show people that actually if we take back control it's a safer option and it's an option that all Britain and all Britons can feel comfortable in taking. You know, there are going to be many people in a referendum who uh, from, from, from different parts of the political spectrum and we're going to have to work with all of them but it, this is going to be led I think by Vote Leave who have a very positive upbeat, uh, inclusive message, and I think that's in absolute critical importance. But we'll get on to the bigger issues in just a second, but implicit in what you were saying is George Galloway perhaps would not be sharing a platform with you immediately. Is that, is that I, what you're I, saying? I, I made a decision some time ago never, ever, ever to say disparaging things about other Eurosceptics. In fact, I'll go further. I don't think in this referendum we should say disparaging things about other people on the other side of the argument either. We don't want this to become a little bit like some people felt the Scottish referendum came where there was perhaps a, a, a little bit of uh, animosity. I think we've got to respect the fact that 40 million voters in the privacy of a ballot box are going to make a decision, and the side that will win will be the side that can portray a positive, inclusive, optimistic vision of what Britain could look like. What? I'm convinced that if we leave the EU, we'll be better and more prosperous. It's a safer thing to do. Um, others will make their own contributions, but, you know, we need every vote. What, we know that, looking at the opinion polls, the Leave side is slightly ahead, but there's a long way to go, I'm sure you accept that, and there's a lot of people who haven't made up their minds. The Prime Minister is talking very clearly about the security of the country and the prosperity of the country. Those are very compelling arguments because we all want a secure and prosperous country. What is the counter-argument from your perspective there? You're absolutely right to focus on the undecided. They're the key in all of this. It's not people like me who made up their mind some time ago or David Cameron who made up his mind some time ago. The undecided, I think, need reassurance. And, and I'd put it like this. We in this country, like the rest of Europe, face enormous economic, technological, demographic challenges. We see the evidence of that on our TV screens every day. I think we're better off if we uh, take back control so that we as a country can make sure that we respond to those economic, demographic, technological challenges appropriately. If we remain in the European Union, it's going to be left to the sort of people who can't manage their borders, who can't manage their money, who can't even manage the Greek crisis. We're going to be putting them in charge. The safer thing to do is to take back control and to make sure that we decide things for ourselves in, in our national interest. Mr. Carl Carswell, thanks very much for talking thanks to so us. Much. I suspect we may be talking again before this is over. Thank I you. hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.